I'm pretty sure we can all agree that middle school kind of really sucks. I don't know about you guys, but for me, middle school meant harder homework, no more recess, and of course, social anxiety. Fun times! Back in the day when Nick News ran a piece called Middle School, The Worst Years of Your Life, I was like, yeah, fair. Linda Ellerby, you get me. Now, these days, I'm pretty extroverted, but I mostly kept to myself growing up. I used to bring magazines and game manuals to school and just sit around looking at them instead of, you know, talking to people. So I wasn't the most social kid in the world. I had my moments, but usually I didn't put myself out there a lot. Enter the talent show. A serviceable transition for this video and also what the flyer said in the lunchroom. Eh, definition time. Talent show, noun. A school function in which a group of select students display their skills in the performing arts for the rest of the student body. Or that thing you didn't really want to watch, but it got you out of fifth period English, so like, Whatever. Now, some of you probably know that I'm a guitar player. I started playing during my last year of elementary school, and by my first year of middle school, it had completely taken over my life. I was listening to a ton of classic rock and blues music, and after a year or so of playing, I was starting to get a bit more confident with it. And that gave me an idea. I, shy, sensitive, introverted baby Fofi, decided to audition for the talent show. Yes, the same kid who cried when the class laughed at him for saying he once saw a purple leaf was now willingly volunteering to get up in front of the entire school and play his dumb music. I honestly wasn't sure what I was even doing, but even so, I took a flyer and started planning things out in my head. My original plan was to just take my guitar, go on stage, and play this song by the band Cream called Sunshine of Your Love. But I mean... <laughs> Yeah, that wasn't really gonna work. My dad suggested I try to put a band together. And at first I was like, ugh, that sounds hard. I just wanted to get up on stage and play my guitar. I didn't wanna have to deal with other people, but my dad eventually convinced me that a band was the way to go. I knew a guy who was learning to play drums, so that was easy, but we still needed a bass player. Hey mom. Can you play bass? Yes, you heard right. I taught my mom, who had never held a bass guitar in her life, to play Cream Sunshine of Your Love on bass only a couple of days before the talent show auditions. Now, that's not the easiest song to learn as a beginner, but she actually picked it up pretty fast. So the day of the auditions came and there I was with my band that consisted of a kid from a different school, and my mom. I was actually kind of worried this wouldn't be allowed. Like, this is supposed to be a talent showcase for the students at this school. So like, is getting help from my mom cheating? But when we started playing, the teachers judging the auditions all started dancing and singing along, so I guess they were cool with it. Oh yeah, unfair advantages rock! All in all, the audition went well, but I wasn't gonna get my hopes up. Anyone who did talent shows or theater in school knows what happens next. You go to school a few days later, you find the audition results posted on a bulletin board somewhere, and you and all the other people who tried out just walk up to it and hope you see your name listed. It's a surprisingly stressful thing to do. Like, I'm just walking up to a piece of paper and looking for my name. Why am I getting so anxious? But I did it. I scanned that flyer from top to bottom, skimming past any name that wasn't mine, and boom, there I was. <laughs> I got in. I was stoked. But then I started thinking about it, and the nerve set in. I was this pudgy nerd kid who was mainly known for drawing a lot and maybe being a little overly sensitive. Now I was going to get up on stage and play music for the whole school, and I... <laughs> 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 but I was in it now. I wasn't gonna back out. After all, guitar playing was my passion, and you can't be a famous guitar player without playing live, right? So I just had to suck it up, get out on stage, shred my pudgy little heart out, and pray they didn't see my knees wobbling. <laughs> After a few dress rehearsals that went well, the day of the show finally came. If I remember correctly, me and my band performed pretty early in the show. So only a few acts in, I stood up and went out on stage. Actually remember I did some weird wiggly arms move as I walked up to my guitar? <laughs> you know, like the real rock stars do. 
also SpongeBob. But I pick up my guitar, my friend gets on drums, and my mom grabs her bright red bass guitar with flames on it, and... It went really well. My hands were shaking the whole time, but the crowd was digging it, and after my guitar solo, I randomly struck some kind of power pose and got a bunch of cheers from the audience. I don't even remember how I felt after the song ended. This was over a decade ago at this point, so it's all a blur now. And for some reason, my mom decided not to take any footage. Pfft, lazy. It's not like she was doing anything else at the time. Anyway, I watched the rest of the show, and at the end of the day, the teachers announced the winner. Honestly, with how nervous I was just to perform, I totally forgot it was even a competition. And I'll spare you the American Idol moment where they open the envelope and wait 10 minutes before they say anything. We didn't win. A dance group that did crank that Soldier Boy won. Did I forget to mention it was 2008? Because it was very much 2008. We may have come in third, I really can't remember. Winning wasn't the important thing. The important thing was that I just did my first ever performance. I played guitar for the whole school without messing it up, and it really did give me a bit of a confidence boost. At least enough to say, I want to do this again. So a year passes, I'm now a diabetic seventh grader going through a growth spurt, and the talent shows come around again. But this time, I decided to kick it up a notch. The last year, my band and I just jammed on an instrumental. But this year, I decided to do Eruption and You Really Got Me by Van Halen. If you watched my starting on YouTube video, you know Eruption was this crazy guitar solo that I tried to learn when I was younger. And after that solo ended, the band would come in, we'd go right into You Really Got Me, and I was gonna sing. In public for the first time. Uh, yeah, you can consider my pants peed. We get through the auditions fine and the show comes. But this time, we're the closer. The last act for the whole show. That's some extra pressure. And the teachers had all the other acts come out during our performance and the stage turned into a dance party. It was like the end of a DreamWorks movie. And I was Shrek like I've always wanted. I remember being really happy with how it went, but in retrospect, I goofed that intro solo like crazy, my voice was shaking all over the place, and when we kicked into You Really Got Me, it's like we played it on fast forward. Nerves will do that to you. But the show ends and I am running high off adrenaline. People keep coming up to me to say I did a great job, and I did not know how to respond to that. This was the first time I ever got this level of attention from any group of people, and I couldn't process it. And then, at the end of the day, the announcements came on, and the winners were announced. And the winner of the talent show is... Foot of a Ferret. Car riders, you are now dismissed. Legit, the last thing I expected. Remember, earlier that same year, I was crying in math class because I got a zero on my homework. This was a serious shock to my system. I mean, literally, I had the world's worst stomach ache that night and I didn't go to school the next day because I felt sick. Now, I don't know if that was because of the shock of everything, or constipation, but I choose to believe the first one. <laughs> anyway, winning that talent show was a really cool experience, but it's not the point here. Because all of it was a huge step towards me coming out of my shell growing up. I wasn't a social butterfly or anything, but you know, it was a start. I did tons more performances after that, which helped me become more and more confident in front of people. And none of that would have happened had I not taken the risk on those first two talent shows. And heck, without those talent shows, I might not have developed the confidence to start my YouTube channel a couple of years later and then reach out to game theorists a few years after that. You gotta put yourself out there, man. You know, get out of your comfort zone. Because whether you succeed or fail, it's all a new batch of experiences that can give you a fresh perspective on the world and maybe even set you on a new path. So yeah, that was my experience with school talent shows. But uh... School wasn't the only place I tried to compete. After a few years, I may have decided to take my talents to a more nationally televised stage. But nah, you guys don't want to hear about all that, right? A story about how I auditioned for a TV talent show? <laughs> Boring! We only do exciting stories on this channel, so stay tuned for my next video. A Brief History of Grass.